Revelation is coming from a man whom I will read his profile. He is an executive speech coach who has trained over 60 CEOs in our country, government officials and some members of the parliament. Yes, he delivers over 100 presentations every year and has spoken and trained companies like African Actuarial Consultancy, Mandel Training Center, Astra Paints, Marketers Association of Zimbabwe, you name it. He is a graduate from the University of Life. How many graduates do we have in here? Yes. And he is an accomplished author. He has published three books to his name. They are Dazzle Your Audience, The Winning Edge, and From a Gardener to a Motivator. His other book is From a Gardener to a Motivator. Ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome the opening motivation for tonight, let's give our hands and rub our hands so hard that you can feel it yourself and welcome Blessing Mandy Peter. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Ashley Gomo. Please give her a round of applause. I think she's doing a great job as a master of ceremonies. Well done. How much time do I have, by the way? Five minutes, right? Did I hear that right? Yes. Those t that told you that I'm coming from the University of Life, it's very, very true. I didn't graduate from the normal type of universities. Your Harvard University. Puzzle Natal University, your University of Zimbabwe, Midland State University. But every time I give a presentation, in fact, I give a presentation at the University of Zimbabwe at one point in time, and a professor came up to me and said, Blessing, where did you do your MBA? And I said, From the University of Life, Mr. Professor. Why? Because one of the reasons why a lot of people are not able to achieve their dreams and make their dreams become a reality it's because a system has been created by other people who think that there's only one way to becoming success successful i am not at all interested in graduating from these other universities in fact simbanya mazao we, we signed a petition some time back and we said we are not going to graduate from these universities unless they give us doctorates, honorary doctorates in terms of the work that we do. Hello. My topic is simply entitled Be Hungry. How many of you are hungry to succeed and make, make it in this life? Mm, hunger is a critical ingredient for one to make it. In 1954, the belief was on the planet no one could run a mile in four minutes. And there came along a man called Roger Bannister. Roger Bannister broke the four-minute record barrier. And when he did it, several other athletes did it, including high school students. More than 20,000 people broke that record. What changed? Gravity? The type of sneakers they wore? Weather? What changed? Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing that changed is that they believed that if Roger did this, I can also do this. Tonight, we are privileged. The CEO of Pro Air, Mr. George Mnengwa, will be speaking to us today. If he has achieved a certain level of success that we can actually celebrate, is it possible for you to also say, you know what, tomorrow, I am also going to be just like George Mnengwa. Hello? A lot of us are very casual when it comes to our dreams. To no square at the proper WhatsApp. To the family that you wrote to them, we must not be anxious. Go check what you have done. You in bonds go or hash. In bonds go or hash. If you just remember, when I go to Zimbabwe, is very, very bad. I think you can't even go near. What is that? Go. When I go to Zimbabwe, I don't even dream about Zimbabwe. Vani vani hanga chete, 
when it desire are the people that make it the people that i have trained today it was simply as a result of hunger some of these people actually petrify me but today that's what i spent three quarters of my time doing coaching them i say please mr ceo can you remove your jacket because it's a different environment altogether let me work on you so that you can become a proficient powerful poised communicator all of us were given something special talents abilities to make sure that we are celebrated on the planet what will separate us how hungry are you i'll be speaking in namibia come next month na kutenda nishtu speaker ban dance wana kutenderera mu na round and no gara dance wana kutenderera mu city of harare ndambwenda kublawa eh pata una mwindo ukuri shinoda hanga tell the person next to you and say hanga say be hungry be hungry 2018 I had an opportunity to leave for South Africa to watch some of the best speakers on the planet the likes of Robert Kiyosaki Les Brown T half acre millionaires in the art that we are pursuing here in Zimbabwe I was inspired but the person who paid for me was a man that I had coached in public speaking and he said blessing what else can I do for you apart from the coaching that I have received from you He flew me to South Africa and for the first time I flew bokwiro baze ari kwenda ku South Africa iyo unoshika makukumba uda kutoba but pane mufambiro umwe unenge uri nani au kune kuziva kana usati wambo vane that experience ndisaka ndichi ndaka taisa kwenda ka vau kuku pane anga ndiri gardener pane anga ndiri gardener boy ndichi seek on digitalize wa bazi vana wachitaura all sorts of names ndichi piwa mazita ose amungafungidzira amuno tombo pao kana makambo pao vaya vanhu magardeners kudzimba kwa muno vha is very important how hungry are you when it comes to your destiny when it comes to the things that you want to be celebrated for you see Arthur Marara is one of my friends he says some of us are going to be celebrated for the solutions we provided or the some of us will be possibly cursed with the problems that we caused on the planet what side which side are you on ladies and gentlemen be hungry when it comes to your dream he said it very well see you at the top because all of us can get there the only question is how hungry are we harare business forum i celebrate you for the work that you're doing this work at into this vision don't look back keep pursuing it be hungry be insanely aggressive when it comes to the things that are so dear to you and you will make a dream become a reality can you give yourself a round of applause <laughs> there is i'm rounding off I'm almost done. I'm done. I have a 1 year, 5 months old daughter and every time I'm working on myself, practicing and rehearsing, she comes up to me and she is standing like that and watching dad. And she loves these words that I always like to encourage people that are pursuing their own businesses. How many of us are entrepreneurs in here? Very good. Very very good. I'm speaking to the right audience. The words simply go like this. I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity and not security. I do not wish to be a cap citizen humbled and dulled by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth and I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence. The thrill of fulfillment to the stay calm of utopia. I will never cow before a master nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid to face the world boldly and declare that this I have done. When you do that, this is only done by people that are hungry. We want to celebrate you come the next 5 years, the next 10 years. Let's hold hands together somewhere and say, you know what? It was beautiful. How we together? Ladies and gentlemen, This is blessing speaks it's been an amazing experience see you at the top because that's where you and I belong belong thank you very much madam mc